time for another grocery haul. And I got my chicken box. Are you not excited? I am so excited. I actually went out with my mom today. We had a couple errands to run, we were just hanging out. We were like, let's pop in the discount store. So we went to the discount store and they had chicken boxes. <laughs> and I was like, ah, I got to film this chicken box. So here we are, chicken box. And of course my camera's dying. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna film this real fast and I'll come back and film the rest later. But look, chicken box, yay. So let's look at the receipt. So look at this chicken box, this entire box of chicken. $20 and it is I don't know how many 52 pounds of chicken it says chicken for rotisserie it it does have some things in it which are, I'm not a huge fan of but again we're on a super tight budget right now we got to stock up so that is what this is for so it's been refrigerated it's in date because I don't know what day you're watching this but we are in date we're actually well within date so this is actually a super super good purchase and I'm very very excited about it they are whole chickens they're not cut up they're in this bag so what I actually have to do is take them and um, package them so that they can go in my freezer and it looks like they actually have the string on them so that they're ready for rotisserie roasting and of course I don't have a rotisserie so I'll probably just leave the string on it because um, I don't think it makes a difference in terms of what I'm doing and it's made to be cooked anyway so Anyway, I'm going to package this up. I'm going to charge my battery and I will show you what it all looks like at the end and I will show you the rest of my grocery purchase, but I'm very excited about this. Okay, I want to make sure I show you this chicken stuff as much as I can and like I said, my battery's dying. So I like charged it a little bit and got everything set up and I'll show you what I can, but it's not going to last long. So let me show you the setup and you can see how I'm doing this. Okay, so here's the chicken box. I'm trying to keep it out in this regular air as little as possible so this is gonna be quick and I haven't cut it open or anything yet because I'm trying to keep it in its packaging so it can stay as cool as possible I have uh, these bags that are food saver bags and they come in a roll they come in a roll that looks like this I actually got this box of food saver rolls at a thrift store several years ago for a dollar somewhere on my channel is the video where I picked it up it was probably like 10 years ago <laughs> I've had it a really really long time and I still have many many rolls of food saver bags in there so it's lasted a really long time and I got this food saver at the same time and it was only $6.99 and it has lasted forever and I love it so you take you take and cut them off the roll on the size that you want you seal the ends I've already sealed the ends I've got 10 bags here I don't know how many whole chickens are in this box but I will tell you and I'm gonna go ahead and quickly get these um, in the bag and sealed and put aside um, I, by the way, I cleaned off this whole counter, took everything off of it, wiped it down. I thought about taking that picture off the wall, but I couldn't. My battery is telling me it's going to die again. So <laughs> very quickly, I'm going to get this charged. I'm going to come back. I'm going to seal these, and then you'll see it. Whew, okay, so that took about 40 minutes start to finish, and I got everything bagged up in the freezer. I'm going to show you, and I have now bleached all of this. I bleached everything, literally, just so you know. I am so serious about food safety, you have no idea. All of this has been bleached down, all of the cabinets just in case there's any drippage, and the floor underneath, I did it barefoot <laughs> because I wanted to make sure it was easy cleanup so I made sure I did not have any shoes on or anything, that it was totally clear and clean. So everything, I even wiped down the sink, uh, the paper towel holder with bleach, I wa wiped off all um, handles, knobs, um, light switches, um, even into the big freezer, which is where I have everything stored because I came out here and put the chicken in the freezer. So let me show you how much we have right here. Okay, so I you probably can't tell because there's such a bright light back there and there's just nothing that I can do about it. But all of these are single chickens in individual bags, bags except for Let's see if I can get the light better. One. One bag has two chickens in it because I don't know if you remember. You probably do because it's a moment ago to you. <laughs> um, I, I cut 10 bags. There were 12 chickens. 
So I put one chicken straight in the oven. I was like, this is gonna be dinner tonight. And then, um, and I'll show you that too. And then I have um, nine chickens that were single and then I made one with two smaller chickens, a double. And so I was like, eh, holidays are coming up. That'll be, that'll be good for like, if we have family over or something. So anyway, doorknobs got bleach wiped. The handles on the freezer got bleach wiped. The light switch got bleach wiped, everything. And I don't mean like a wipe, like a bleach wipe. I mean, I actually got a bucket some bleach, like mixed up bleach, water, hot water, super hot water. And I'm trying to make sure that it is disinfected. A hundred percent. I'm not, not playing, not playing <laughs> with raw chicken. <laughs> so it is all put away and done. And now I can show you the rest of the grocery haul. As soon as I like brush my hair and look like a sane person since I've been dealing with a bunch of raw chicken for a minute. So pause this. We'll talk about what I actually spent today. <laughs> so the total grocery haul, I spent $49.22 at the discount store where I got the chicken box. So 20 of that off the bat was chicken box, 29, 22 was the other items, and then 13.40 at Aldi today. I went by there just specifically for fruit because I didn't have any fruit. So let me, um, I'll show you the receipts real fast and we'll see what's on the table. All right, so here are my two receipts. This is the Aldi one for $13.40 and my discount store, $49. 22 and this is everything else that I bought right so the chicken box is there that's actually ready to be disposed of This right here is all the other stuff now while I was processing the chicken I did throw all the cold stuff in the fridge and the freezer, but I pulled it back out so you can see it so um, I I told you that I got fruit at Aldi. So these mandarins were $2.99 Raspberries $2.69 the avocados were two for a dollar Strawberries were $2.99, and these Pink Lady Apples were $3.99, which, you know, what can you do about prices these days, you guys? But everything else I got from my discount grocery store. So the $13.40 um, was just the raspberries, the strawberries, avocados, not fruit, obviously, Pink Lady, and mandarins, and that's it. Everything else, like I said, discount store so I did get even though I got the chicken box which was whole chicken sometimes you just want chicken breasts so I did get two packages at three dollars of the chicken breasts which probably will mostly use these for our lunches I also grabbed this chocolate fudge yasso because mama needs a treat sometimes and it was two dollars <laughs> so there's that these huge and you can see it these are actually pretty large baking potatoes the baking potatoes were four for a dollar but these ginormous sweet potatoes or three for a dollar. So I got four because it's Rick and I, so we have to have two at a time. But I don't even know what I'm gonna do with those. I was thinking about roasting one a night, but that might be a little too much. So, um, but this was a dollar thirty-three and a dollar. These uh, red potatoes and gold potatoes. I know it's a lot of potatoes, but that's what they had. Ninety-nine cents for the entire bag. So we have plenty of potatoes of every kind to last us for a while and fruit and plenty of chicken too so um over here we have these kettle cooked chips five for a dollar and that was you know for our lunches i grabbed some more of the dollar 99 coffee decaf coffee they were actually almost out so i don't think we're going to get that deal um again but i since they were so close to being out i grabbed what i could six bags a dollar 99 which was 12 dollars. so between the chicken box and this that's 32 dollars of the 49 and then the last things were this um, Chobani oat milk for $2 and this heavy whipping cream for a dollar. That is a tremendous deal. I was actually very excited about that because I use it a lot. So very, very, very happy with all of the deals that I got today. And I spent about $60. What did I spend? 50, 60, about $64 for everything. But I mean, 52 pounds of chicken plus all of this for $64. I think I did pretty darn great. So there you go. My battery is still screaming at me that it's dying. I keep charging it while I'm doing stuff, but this is gonna be a short one. <laughs> so I hope you like the chicken box experience and uh, hopefully I get some more deals like this. I, I don't know about doing the rotisserie thing again. Not my favorite. I'm just gonna have to really pray about it that the Lord provides that we can just get farm fresh chicken again. But for now, this is a good deal and it'll feed us for the winter. So praise the Lord, I am not complaining. It is a tremendous deal and I'm glad we can stretch it. So chicken for dinner tonight. I might show you that later after I charge this, but here we go, grocery haul. Thank you guys for hanging out with me. See you guys next time. Bye. Amanda here just editing this video and I realized that I didn't have pictures 
of the roast chicken that I made and I wanted to let you know that if you are interested come follow me on Instagram it's at Amanda Beal you can see how my name is spelled from this channel and every single night in my stories I am sharing pictures of what we make for dinner and I looked to see if I had saved a picture of that roast chicken or anything that we did that night and I didn't save it on my phone and I've actually been trying to now make sure I'm saving those um, pictures of our daily dinners in my highlights my story highlights on my page there's actually a little circle called food and you can go there and see some food that I've made so I'm trying to do a better job of saving it my highlights but that particular chicken I did not but if you do want to see what we're making every single night I'm trying to share it every night and I've, I've been doing a really good job lately um, so come over there and see all of our great meals and hopefully it'll inspire you and encourage you so anyway that's it thank you guys for hanging out with me hope you like the chicken box see you guys next time